Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update the kernel on Ubuntu based operating system to a more up to date version than the one that is shipped with Ubuntu. Now, in this case, we are currently using the 5.15.0 kernel, and when we're done, we'll be on a more up to date kernel. So, let's get into it. First thing we need to do is we need to issue a update command or the issue the usual update make sure that there is nothing that needs to be done as we can confirm here three packages can be upgraded but that's fine for now what we need to do is first off check well we can check what kernel we're using but we already know we're using the 5.15.0 kernel as as is shown here and also here so that's fine now to I now need to add a PPA. So to do that, we do sudo add apt repository at PPA D A P P L I K A N K A N. I will add this in the description so you don't have to struggle to type this out. I have the A P P. Help oh, if I had done it correctly. C A P P. E L I K A N uh, PPA slash PPA even slash PPA dash have a look at type dash Y and what this will then do is then add a new repository for us to download software from. This will be allowing us to download the Ubuntu mainline kernel installer. To do that, all we have to do now is just sudo apt all mainline hyphen y, and this will now download the Ubuntu mainline software package. All we now have to do is just search for Ubuntu mainline, and this will now refresh the kernel indexes for us to tell us what kernels that are available for the system. Now, I personally am running the 6.1 Linux kernel on my Debian system, which I use on a daily basis. So it is possible that your Ubuntu system, if you're using Ubuntu, could also run the 6.0 Debian, the 6.0 kernel. 6.10. So as we can see here, we scroll. If we just do a quick Neo fetch. We can see we are currently using the 5.15 kernel, but thanks to the Ubuntu mainline installer, we can go all the way up to 6.1, 6.1.7. So in my case, I am just going to go up to 6.0.0. We will select install, and what this will do is this will hold the kernel down from, uh, well, as we can see here, it's pulling the kernel. It's downloading everything it's going to need need to download, and then it'll it will install this once the password, obviously. Once this process has been completed, we will need to restart. And then once we have done that, we can then check the system. So this may take a bit of time depending on your system. This virtual machine only has two cores and four gigs of RAM uh, assigned to it, so it may take a little bit longer than your system if you're using a more powerful system, as we can see. Only two cores and four gigs of RAM, so this may take a little while, but this is an expected outcome. As we can see, we didn't need to worry too much because the kernel has already finished. So what this is going to ask us to do, it's just saying, hey, look, it's refreshing everything. What we need to do now is just reboot, so it's just sudo reboot now. And wait for this to finish booting up. And we should be on the Linux 6.0.0 kernel. Once the system has fully rebooted, there we go. It's just taken a second to realize what I'd asked of it. But in a moment, once this is finished booting up, we'll be running the Linux 6.0.0 kernel. And we can find this out by just opening this and doing NeoFetch. And there we go. It is as simple as that. 
No need to worry about entering this command, that command, worrying about if you've entered the right thing in the right place. It's as simple as this. And that has taken all of about. That's it. Grab your OBS, sorry. That's taken us all of about five minutes, can, if you can believe it. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, maybe consider hitting the like, like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike. Anyway, I've been Nick. You've been amazing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.